electrical patterns in the brain which are referred to as brain waves. And uh, I'll briefly give you a nutshell of what happened with brain wave test QEG. Uh, quantitative EEG is a computerized analysis of the brain waves. You know, the brain goes through several stages, the alpha, the beta, the theta, gamma states. Delta is sleep, sleep, sleep state. You know, alpha is kind of relaxed, protective state. Beta is normally what you do, beta is really alert state. Beta. Theta is really the one that you want to be. <laughs> You know, it's really deep, deep, deep meditation, deep relaxation, wonderful feeling. You could go in and out of there like it will, anytime. That's wonderful. From Swami QEEG, the scientist saw that, unlike most people, he had complete control of his brain waves and was able to smoothly shift from one brain wave to another in a relaxed manner. Then uh, the other thing that's really interesting that interested me, the specialist in QEEG was that when you go from alert state to meditative state, you go through various frequencies. And they are represented in various colors. And I've never seen that myself in my life. When he was going from alert state to deep meditative state, he would go in the same color range, in the same order as the rainbow, the Vipgyar, violet, indigo, blue, green, red, yellow. Vipgyar, same like orange and red, fine. And then when he come out of the range, he would come in the exact same range, opposite. And he did that several times, but can't stand us at that night. It is also believed that, since masters have gone beyond the attachment to this physical world of body and mind, and became one with, and completely in tune with existence, they can alter anything in existence. The SMR range, a state where the person is relaxed, but yet focused, seems to be the nearest match for this understanding. But here is another one that is really, really interesting for scientists and for sportsmen, for performers and for Nobel laureates in the future, and that is there is a special wavelength between 12 to 14 megahertz. Very, very few scientists know about it, even today. They won't talk to every scientist, they won't know what, what, what it means. It's called the SMR uh, range, sensory motor rhythm range. It's a special narrow band of the brain waves. You get into that when you are in the zone. You know, those of you that are golfers, probably uh, Tiger Woods is in the zone, or BJ Singh is in the zone, we talk about Pete Sampras and tennis and uh, Raptor, you know. And in football, you have so many people. Then when the zone basketball championship, you saw them throwing the balls and effortlessly it goes in, no matter where they're throwing the ball from. That means they're in the zone. What happens is the ultimate coordination of the muscles and the nerves and the body, the entire body organs and the chemistry and the hormones, they become so cohesive to the point that anything is possible at that time. You want to be in the zone. For example, if Oklahoma University football team or OSU football team, which you support, they found the secret of how to get into the zone. They will be national champions every year. And they'll be probably undefeated for 100 years. 